this is Jenny and I am on the spot. Welcome to the Monday Minute or Two in which I try to help make a case of the Mondays a good thing. Let's see if I can keep this Monday Minute or Two actually at Two. It's doubtful. First off, the purpose of the Monday Minute is to have a reason to laugh a little bit at the beginning of the week and to also be a reminder to do something nice for someone. It can be something big like Oprah Big Nice or just opening the door for someone. You get to choose what nice thing that you do. It could just be smiling. Actually, studies have shown smiling benefits the smiler even more than the person they're smiling at. There's a little tidbit for Monday. So to, mo to, to Monday, to Monday, today is I'm on, what is it called? I'm on top of it day. Whatever that means for you, be on top of your laundry, the email, call the doctor, be on top of your health, your scheduling. And if you're not, it's okay. Give yourself a little grace. Be on top of being nice to yourself. Do that. And according to my sources on Tuesday, it is fortune cookie day. Fortune cookie day. I found this website called eatfortunecookie.com. Here's a few little nuggets. If you rip your fortune, it will not come true. And don't choose the cookie that's nearest you. Choose the one that's furthest away. Like when you're choosing milk at the grocery store. Nobody ever takes the first carton of milk out front, right? You take the one behind. They'll kind of go about fortune cookies like that. Always take the one in the back. You have to keep the fortune in order for it to come true. That is a new one for me. Maybe that's my problem. If I'm supposed to take the cookie that is furthest away, and that means I take this one and I'm going to open it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, now I know why at the grocery store in the bulk section, I totally got punked. You guys, I was looking at the receipt for the fortune cookies and it said on the receipt, unfortunate cookies. And you know what? Because there's no fortunes in them. What does that even mean? So I brought this out because apparently, maybe I need a new one. Aha. So I got this because I read on that website that when you open up your fortune cookie, you read it, and you eat your cookie, and then you set your fortune on fire. Here's the conflicting information. If you will recall, earlier I said you should keep your fortune in order for the fortune to happen. But now they're saying you gotta burn it. I just don't know what you're supposed to do. Does anybody know? Anybody? On Wednesday, it is National Coloring Day. On Thursday, it is Make a Hat Day. If you go to Pinterest, I'm sure you can, can make a hat out of a paper plate. One time I made a hat entirely out of pipe cleaners. It was crazy hat day. And somehow I came across this one. Friday is National Stay Away From Seattle Day. Not tourists, they're not talking about tourists, they want your money, tourists. It's basically about all the big businesses. They stay out of Seattle. If you go to Seattle, go to local businesses, shop local. Right. Peace and sparkles, make sure you've subscribed to my channel on YouTube, I'm Jenny on the Spot. Also find me on Instagram, I have a lot of fun there. Pinterest and Twitter, I am Jenny on the Spot. On Facebook, it's Jenny on the FB. If you haven't liked my page, that would be rad. I haven't done my hair today. Can you tell? All right. Peace and sparkles. Have a fabulous week. We'll see you next Monday. Oh my gosh. Can you even believe my fortune cookies had no fortunes? Why even make them? Why? This big joke is so mean. May all your fortune cookies have fortunes in them. <laughs> <laughs>